All right, hi you, welcome back to Beauty Over 40. Your girl was down for a couple weeks. I was sick, but I'm happy to be back. No worries, everything is all good, but that's where I've been. But I wanted to come on today and share with you guys. You guys know, a lot of you guys know that I am a part of Macy Style Crew. They send me products to review or products to try, and I give my honest opinion about them. A lot of you guys know that I also model some of their clothes. So some of the clothes I buy, some of them I don't, but anyway, Today we are here to talk about this right here. Uh, and this is something different. I've never really done fragrance on my channel, but I'm really excited about this one because it smells so amazing. So I got super excited about this and was like, okay, I have to put this on my channel because I just want y'all to know that this is amazing. What we're going to talk about today is the beautiful Jean-Paul Gaultier LaBelle. We're going to open this together. So if you'd like to see what this is all about, stay tuned. I'm down if you're down. Let's ride out right now. We'll go where there ain't no crowds. Somewhere underneath the clouds. I'm down if you're down. All right. Let's go ahead and open this. It's brand new. I haven't opened it. But so Macy Style Crew sent me this. I already know how it smells because I was using it at Macy. All right, they sent me a little card, so I'm just going to read some of this. Jean-Paul Gaultier invites you to journey into the enchanting garden of temptation and attraction to discover the new ultra-sensual and feminine LaBelle fragrance and a dreamy silhouette with opulent gold detailing. Oh my God, I was like, this sounds so, like, so amazing. I love the storytelling of this fragrance. It's just beautiful. The fragrance comes to life from fresh bergamot, a burst of pear, and an addition of vanilla. The fresh scent will transform you to the garden and bring feelings of adventure and discovery. Given to this fragrance exclusively at Macy's LaBelle by Jean-Paul. That sounds so beautiful. This size, let's open it. How do you open it? Oh, you open it from the bottom. Look at her. Isn't she gorgeous like look how beautiful this is oh my gosh this is like this is so elegant and beautiful <sighs> again i already know what it smells like but i'm going to there's a little lock on here let's take this little lock off It smells so good. Put a little bit here. I'm going to read over um, some of the notes and everything for you. This is a 3.4 and the price is $118. All right, Jean-Paul Gaultier LaBelle Auto Parfum is a harmonious fusion of green pear, sensual jasmine, tonka bean, and addictive vanilla. The intense eau de parfum from Gautier's garden is a forbidden blend of irresistibly enticing and radiant seductiveness. I would definitely have to agree with that because like I have a few, like I'm not one to have like a ton of perfumes. I do prefer, um, well, it depends on the uh, fragrance, but I'm usually a light scented kind of person. Like I don't like anything like um, really florally or anything that's really loud. I love a really light scent. Again, this word here, descriptive, is just like the right description to a fragrance that I would like in my collection. And this fragrance is just that is very, like it is so seductive. I love it. It says, allow yourself to be drawn into its wake. The top notes are vanilla, which I'm not a vanilla girl when it comes to fragrance. I just don't like that smell on me. So when I found out the top notes were vanilla, like I was like, 
I couldn't believe there was vanilla in this because it just did not have that vanilla kind of smell. So the combination of the top notes again, which are the vanilla, the middle notes are pear, and then the bottom notes are tonka bean. I like a fragrance that is kind of more on the earthy side, like woody, musky. So for me, a fragrance that has like any of those notes in it, that's what my nose is drawn to. So I'm pretty sure it's the Tonka bean. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, definitely the Tonka bean that my nose is attracted to, but it's just the combination of this fragrance of the jasmine and Tonka bean vanilla, like the combination of everything they put together. I love this fragrance. This is definitely a fragrance that I would definitely have to rebuy. However, I do not run through fragrances really fast, so this is definitely something that I will have in my collection before I have to um, read up on it. So, but again, I just wanted to come on and share this with you guys. Again, this size is the 3.4 and it's $118, but just look at this bottle. It is just gorgeous. I love, like love, love, love it. I love it. If you're interested, I'll have my personal link to Macy's for being on their style crew, which is basically an influencer for Macy's. All my skincare and everything is, um, is on this link here. So if you're interested, just hop down and just click on the link and take a, just take a look around to see what all is available that I use in, in my collection. But yeah, I would definitely have a link to this down below. If you guys have smelled this fragrance, I would love to know what you think about it. I would love to know what you think about it. If this is something you think you would be interested in wearing or even gifting for someone yeah so i'll be really curious to see how many of you guys have tried this fragrance but yeah so that is it for this video if you guys have any questions just leave your questions and comments down below in the comment section and and if you're not following me on instagram follow me on instagram at lrh makeup and also lrh makeup on tiktok and also now i have a underscore beauty over 40 tiktok page so also check me out over there oh also make sure you check out my website i'll have that information down below as well and until next time remember the best makeup you can wear is confidence bye